hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video let's learn how to write a python program to parse a string to float or integer so given a string so you have to check if it is a float or integer and try to parse the values so yeah so let's take a variable that is my string so yeah so let's use input function call and ask a user to enter a string float or integer yeah so once you get the input it will be stored in a variable that is my string so now let's try to use a try block and check if the from the string you can able to convert it so let's take a variable that is value and check if conversion to int is possible yeah so let's pass the input to this uh, int type conversion that is the int function call so once uh, this is successful the value will be stored in the value variable else what you have to do is you have to accept the value error so this is value error yeah so if the value you get value error what you have to do is use another try block to check if you can convert this my string into a float so yeah let's take another variable same with the same name value equals to let's use a float type conversion that is a function and let's pass the my string to this so again if it is not able to accept so that is the if it is not able to convert the string to a float so again you get value error so this is the nested uh, try block we are using and uh, what you do is just print given string cannot be converted to float or int cannot be parsed to float or integer yeah so this is a error if you are not able to convert these to a float else what you have to do is the conversion is possible to float yeah let's print given string is a float and uh, yeah let's give the value over here so this is the nested uh, try block that we are using for conversion of float so now exit the nested uh, try block and you have to check here that is a integer this is the main try block so yeah let's print it given string is a integer because in the main try block we are trying to convert this to int so yeah given given string is a integer comma let's give value yeah so first we are converting it to a int so if you get the value error you are trying to convert this to float again if you get the value error print out that uh, it is not a float or integer else what you do is convert uh, print that as a float and here what you do is print it as a integer so this is the complete program to parse a string to float or integer so let's run this program let's see how it works enter a string float or integer let's say I'll give string 
so you can see that given string cannot be passed to float on integer because string is a string is a string type yeah now let's give again another try so here let me give 56.9 so you can see that given string is a float 56.9 is a value that is printed let's run it again let's give uh, 34 you can see that uh, given string is a integer so 34 is printed so the program actually says it is integer or float you can try to find how exactly try and uh, accept works here so let's give again so yeah so let's give age let's give 5 so you can see that age 5 is a string and uh, given string cannot be passed to int or float because the age can age is a string variable yeah so that's it in this video hope you like this thank you for watching bye